In six minutes, you'll learn all the steps of ModiMate's workflow. ModiMate is an all new 3D design platform for buildings that reimagines how BIM should work. Our BIM has four layers of hierarchy, a massing graph, separator assemblies, surface graphs, and attachment assemblies. Each builds on the previous, so you should do them in order. First, let's recap the camera behavior. Right click to orbit, middle click to pan, scroll to zoom, change your view modes with F1 for massing graph, F2 for separators, F3 for surface graphs, and F4 for attachments. Let's talk about the massing graph. It's called a graph because in the world of math, a graph is a connectivity diagram. And as an architect, you know that the assemblies that make up your building are connected in very precise ways using construction details. So this model actually acts as a map of all the connections in your building and all the assemblies being connected. Every plane, an edge, and vertex represents either an assembly, such as a wall and a window, or a detail that connects them, such as the window jam detail. Modeling a massing graph is a very straightforward process with a small family of planar modeling tools. You can draw edges, you can type numbers, you can hold shift and snap to colored axes for world X, Y, and Z, and you can relate to other objects such as corners, midpoints, edges, and faces. When you close a planar loop, it adds a plane. You can also draw vertical rectangles and horizontal rectangles with just two clicks by using the other drawing tools. You can select objects by clicking on each of them or holding shift to add multiple to your selection and holding control to remove them from your selection. Region selecting from left to right selects everything inside the rectangle. From right to left selects everything that crosses the rectangle. Control A selects all objects. When you select single objects, dark dimension strings can be typed and overridden, which moves the selected element. Stretch handles allow for the object to be deformed. The move tool allows objects to be moved along any vector. The rotate tool allows objects to be rotated around a point. With these tools, you can sculpt any shape of building you want from the most complex gables to the simplest modern homes. When you're done modeling any area of the building, always make sure to use the join tool and clean up unnecessary vertices. In this case, this pilaster does not have two assemblies, it has one. This edge is not meaningful to host any object or detail, and so we use the join tool to clean it up and remove it from the model. Once you create a massing graph, you have nice, easy control of the shape of your building, no matter how much is attached on top. Next, let's talk about separators. Separators are the physical construction assemblies that separate spaces, like walls, floors, doors, roofs, windows, stairs, etc. They're the objects that host on your massing graph. These objects have actual construction assemblies that are defined by ModiMate's BIM system. The tools are all found in this separator palette, these are the object types that can host to the massing graph, and each of them comes with various out-of-the-box assemblies as well as opportunities to customize them. You customize these assemblies using the BIM Designer. This is a node-based representation of all the objects inside your wall. Unlike old tools, ModiMate represents all these assemblies right down to their parts. So the layers of an interior wall like this one are actually patterns of large gypsum boards and patterns of wood studs, and when you design the layers, you're designing the objects themselves. If you want to change this wall to use 2x6s, you swap that 2x4 for a 2x6, and indeed the layer thickens to use a 2x6. And now the wall thickens to use 2x6s. Once you've created the separators that you want to host, it's as easy as equipping those assemblies and hosting onto the scene. Use hotkeys W, S, A, and D to nudge the object's justification on its massing host, and then click to apply. If you don't like the orientation, pressing F to flip. Objects also come with handles to control flipping. The third layer, surface graphs, are very simple and straightforward. 80% or more of the surfaces in a building don't need any special subdividing, so don't worry about them for this step. For the surfaces that do need subdividing, you can click on the face of any separator to apply a surface graph, and then you can draw the regions that you desire to be in your surface graph. These subdivide the future targets for finishes. Much like the massing graph, when you click on surface graph elements, you're given some handles for control. Now the entire pilaster has a different material below 3 feet than it does above 3 feet. Surface graphs are especially valuable when laying out many attachments all in the same room, such as the cabinets of a kitchen. Make sure your massing graph is complete and your separators are laid out in their final locations because disturbing the separators may cause your surface graphs to fall off. The fourth step, attachments, is fun and rewarding. The four attachment types are finishes, trim, cabinets, and ff &E. Just as with separators, these assemblies can be customized to your liking. Simply equip an assembly 
and click its target, or customize new assemblies for yourself. Because ModiMate is built on Unreal Engine 4, our furniture is beautiful and high resolution, which means that you can render the interiors of spaces in the very same platform as you do your documentation modeling. Once your model is created, you get instant renderings and DWGs. Renderings are as simple as positioning your camera in the model. You can change your field of view by typing a new number in your field of view properties. You can save these views by adding to your saved views list. You can change the time of day. And you can even turn on gravity, which lets you play your scene like a level. Right click to look around, press W, A, S, and D to walk around. Turn off gravity to return to normal camera views. And lastly, export DWGs by creating a cut plane here in the cut plane menu. Click draw new cut plane, then click a place in the scene where the cut plane should pass through, and a direction for the cut plane to look. It will auto size to encompass your entire project, and then click export cut planes to choose a destination on your PC. The resulting DWG is ready to be used in backgrounds for your drawings. This means that your 3D model and your drawings are always in sync. You start in 3D, and it powers your 2D documentation. Now you've seen all of ModiMate's steps in quite some detail, check out our core tutorial series where we teach you how to do each step click by click.